do you like my sunglasses? Because they're actually VR glasses. This is the HTC Vive Flow and it's one of the most portable VR systems out there. Because it's built like glasses and weighs less than half a pound, it's definitely the easiest one to put on and take off and use on the go. Because of this fit, you cannot wear glasses under it, but using this enclosed nose piece, you can individually adjust these diopter dials to make sure that you can see clearly. While the Flow is technically an all-in-one, it doesn't have a built-in battery, so you do have to plug it into a power source via the USB-C port on the arm here. You can use a brick to plug it into the wall, or keep it super portable with battery pack, or even plugging it into your phone. Speaking of your phone, it's also the controller. What? That's right, there are no controllers with this. You just use a compatible cell phone. Check the website for the list of phones that'll work, but it's currently Android only and a little limited, but they should be expanding that soon. So, the phone is a controller. I love the idea. You already have it on you, and it's super simple to use. However, it doesn't have six degrees of freedom motion tracking, just gyroscopic tracking. So don't expect to play Beat Saber or Half-Life Alex on this. So what's it for? The Biflow is marketed as a relaxation device. It comes with chill content like these lo-fi spaces you can hang out in, as well as light meditation games like Trip and Space Slurpees, and so many more games, apps, and videos available for purchase or with their $6 a month subscription. While you can set it up for a play space of up to 4x4 meters, the flow is definitely intended to be used in a stationary seated position. Yesterday I tried doing a 360 video yoga class, but I don't think HTC would endorse this use case. However, today I donated platelets, so my body is tired and my arm is freaking sore, and this is the perfect setup for people with limited mobility or strength. I can see the flow being great for people who are bedridden and want to either telecommute to work or just relax. At $500, the Vive Flow is somewhat competitively priced for the entry-level VR market, but the portability and ease of wear make it incomparable. Well, back into the metaverse. 